Hi, I'm Courtney, and today we have an important topic to discuss, one that affects millions of people worldwide. Lazotica is the world's largest eyewear company and owns popular brands such as Ray-Ban, Chanel, Prada, Oakley, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, and many others. In August of 2020, Lazotica faced a data breach that exposed the personal information of over 800,000 eye, med, and lens crafter patients. Just one month later, they encountered yet another attack. This time, a ransomware attack that brought company operations in Italy and China to a halt. Fast forward to 2021, and Lazotica confirmed that one of its partners suffered a major cyber attack, leading to exposure of personal information belonging to over 70 million users on hacking forums. The scale of these breaches is staggering, but there's more to this story. In November 2022, Someone attempted to sell the database containing 300 million records of personal information from Lazotica cu customers in the US and Canada. Although the sale ultimately fell through, the unthinkable happened. As of April 30th and May 12th, 2023, the database was leaked for free on various hacking forums. This means that threat actors now have easier access to this data, putting your personal information at risk. Now you might be wondering, how does this affect me? Well, the good news is that hackers were unable to obtain financial information, social security numbers, or login credentials. However, your personal data, including your email, name, addresses, is still out there, vulnerable to further exploitation. Here at Skycom, we perform dark web monitoring for our clients, and we've recently seen an increase in hits on our clients' personal information that is directly related to the Lazotica breach. That's why we wanted to address this specific data breach today. If you're unsure whether your information has been compromised, you can visit the website, Have I Been Pwned? Simply enter your email and it will tell you if your email has been part of any data breaches. If your personal information has been leaked to threat actors, there are certain things you should be aware of. Firstly, be on high alert for phishing email scams. Since these bad actors have access to your personal information, they can tailor attacks specifically to target you and thus gain more of your personal information and even contain your passwords, financial information, and other sensitive data. Keep an eye out for emails that demand immediate action or for you to click on a suspicious link. When it comes to keeping your account secure, always verify the sender of the email. In Outlook, take a close look at who the email is coming from. If you receive an unusual email from someone you know, double check the actual email address beside their name. If you're still uncertain about the legitimacy of an email from a trusted source, pick up the phone and call that person directly. It's better to confirm their request rather than fall victim to a scam. For example, if your boss urgently asks you for your cell number via email, give them a call to verify it's genuinely them. If your email or personal data has been breached, it's crucial to change your password. Sometimes there may be hits against your email address without associated passwords, indicating that your personal information is being sold for marketing or potential malicious purposes. In such cases, it's recommended to change your password, not only on the compromised site, but also on any other services that you've used that password. Always remember to use complex passwords that are at least eight characters long, contain a minimum of three special characters and numbers. I know it can be a hassle, but having different passwords for each of your accounts is crucial. By doing so, even if a bad actor gains access to one of your accounts, they won't be able to infiltrate others. To simplify password management, consider using tools like Google Password Manager or IT Glue. These password managers securely store and help you manage your passwords, making it easier to maintain strong and unique credentials for each of your accounts. Lastly, enable multi-factor authentication, otherwise known as MFA, whenever it's available. We highly recommend activating MFA as it adds an extra layer of security to your accounts. By requiring a second verification step through your mobile device, MFA significantly reduces the risk of unauthorized access. 
So there you have it, the Lazotica data breach serves as a reminder of the persistent threat of cyber attacks and the importance of safeguarding personal information. By remaining vigilant, adopting secure practices such as strong passwords and MFA, and prompt promptly disregarding potential phishing attempts, individuals can take proactive measures to protect themselves in the aftermath of data breaches. So stay informed, stay alert, and prioritize the security of your personal data. Thank you for watching, and if you have any comments, leave them down below, and we will keep this video updated if new information comes.